Alright guys, now that we are finally done designing everything, what we can do is we can start adding the brains to our program. Now, before we get started with any of that, you guys need to follow these rules. First rule of Fragment Club. Fragments do not talk directly to one another. Second rule of Fragment Club. Fragments do not talk directly to one another. Okay, you got that? These fragments are never going to communicate directly to one another. So what's going to happen is since we need to take this text that the user types in and apply it to this fragment, they need some sort of medium, someone to go through, and that medium is the main activity. So what's going to happen whenever the user types in text and presses this button is it's going to say, hey yo, activity, the user just clicked my button and the activity is going to say, okay, let me get that text. Cool, cool, got it. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm activity. Yeah, bottom fragment. I'm going to need you to change your text to whatever I tell you to. So that's pretty much what's going to happen. This fragment, or this button rather, is going to wait to be clicked. And when it gets clicked, it's going to tell the activity about it. And then the activity is going to tell this fragment about it. So again, remember those rules. Fragments are never ever allowed to talk directly to one another. Sweet. So let's go ahead and first set up the listener for this button click. So in top section fragment right there, let's go ahead and import three more things. Of course, we need to import import android dot app dot activity and this is just so I can talk to that main activity now the next thing we need to do is just import android.widget.button because remember it has a button right there and we also need to import the package for these edit text fields because it has edit text fields simple stuff so import android.widget.edit text all right, looking good. So of course, before we actually start adding the brain to anything, we just need to get a reference to all of this stuff. So top text input, bottom text input, and the button. So I'm gonna make a private variable, static edit text. And that first one, actually let me name my variables the same. All right, so top text input and bottom text input. So top text input and I'm just gonna copy this because I am lazy and bottom text input alright pretty sweet very nice very nice alright so now on create view and the reason that I'm gonna stick it in here is because this gets called as soon as pretty much this view is created as soon as this fragment is created so of course that's when I'm gonna assign all the variables because you know it's like the perfect time to so for this top text input just set this equal to we're gonna cast it into an edit text again we've done this like a million times by now view find by ID and the ID of this is r dot ID dot top text input and then it's probably just faster if I just edit text you find the ID r dot ID dot bottom text input where are you at there you are and the last thing we need to do is actually get a reference to that button so button I'll just name it what did I name it I think I just named it button all right so this equals of course it's gonna be typecasted into a button view dot find by ID R dot D dot button bu 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 button da 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 button button button. All right. So now we got a reference to everything. Pretty boring. Nothing really to explain there. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to set up a listener on that button. So this button is pretty much just going to be chilling there, waiting for something to happen. So for button, let me add my stupid lines again. And I actually want to give myself a little bit more room. I like when I can like scroll around for some reason. 
I'm gonna make sure you guys can see that source code in case you are copying it. So button, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set on click listener. And again, we did this in the last couple of tutorials. So what we need to do is we need to put new view dot on click listener. And the only method that we need to have here is public void on click pass in that view all right so inside this method is essentially where you write what do we want to happen when the button gets clicked well instead of jamming up inside here with a bunch of code what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new method called button clicked and I'm just gonna pass through that view V so that way if we go outside this on create view then I can make public void button clicked and of course it takes that view parameter that we just passed through so essentially any code that gets called whenever this button gets clicked I can just type in here and it's a little bit neater let me just tighten that up for now because we're actually going to be filling this in in just a bit